part of the team 4101K from Hillsborough, Kansas, and we're going to talk to you a little bit about our robot gearbox. We'll put a link in the description about the original reveal or um, original build of our robot, um, but we're just going to go over the specific gearbox on our launcher system. You'll see in the video we use these golden um, gears. These are legal um, through a rule on VEX is rule R7. Robots are allowed to follow additional non-VEX components. Part B. Any parts which are identical to legal VEX parts. For the purposes of this rule, products which are identical in all ways except for color are permissible. Note, it is up to inspectors to determine whether a component is identical to an official VEX component. These are 3D printed copies off of the VEX website. So they have not been altered in any way. They are exact copies. And we are just using them because um, we are using four gearboxes. We're using two on the robot and then we're bringing two, one that turns in each direction because they only turn in one direction specifically. One that turns in each direction to tournaments in case one of them goes down, we can just quickly switch them out. Um, that's because this year we've built our robot in on the idea of quick servicing and um, allowing the pit stops to be, or pits, to be a lot easier to work with. Also by that we saved $60 on four of those gears. Those cost about a dollar probably to print total. So we're going to go through the different stages of the gearbox. As you can see here we have the gearbox and the motor box. So we have the motors and then we have pairing them together with two 36 tooth gears which run to an 84 tooth gear and then to a 12 tooth gear. That will then drive a 36 tooth gear on the top like that which drives a 12 tooth gear which is on the launcher. So I'll take you through the different stages of that, how they were made. So the first stage is the motor box. This is the box that specifically um, sets the motors up to be, or pairs the motors uh, outputs together. So there will be a 36 tooth gear on this shaft and then we'll pair those two together and set them onto this shaft which will then move into stage two. Stage two is the first reduction. So we have this shaft coming out of this original motor box which runs this shaft will run into this first, the stage two, which is the first reduction. The first reduction is made by an 84 tooth running a 12 tooth. That's a one to seven gear ratio. This 84 tooth is made into a ratcheting gear system off of Rex 1727B's design. We will link his video in the description. This ratch, ratcheting system allows us to um, continue the motor, the launcher will continue spinning after we've cut power and that protects the motors and allows us to save energy. This this then drives this axle, which will move then into stage three. Stage three is the final reduction, which goes from, which sends, which drives a 36 tooth gear, which will drive a 12 tooth gear that will be on the launcher. Um, this 12 tooth gear has a final outcome of a one to 21 gear ratio. And ideally we'll spin our five inch wheels at oh, just over 31 miles an hour. Each, then the stage has the final four mounting standoffs which will then mount to the launcher, as you can see in our original video. This is very, it's built with a lot of um, care because we want it to be as friction free as possible in order to maintain as fast as, fast as speed and um, save as much energy as possible. Okay, we're gonna show you um, turning this on. We've just got it plugged into a simple six volt circuit um, straight out of the wall. Um, and then we've got these motors plugged in to turn. We're gonna show you um, just running it in motion. And then you can see, you hear if it keeps going that same direction, it ratchets. Um, there's no momentum to keep it moving right now, so it's not going to show you that. And like I said, this final reduction will have a high strength 12 tooth gear right here that is connected straight drive to the wheels on the launcher, which you can again see on our original video. Once again, we'd like to credit Rex 1727B on the ratcheting design. I encourage you to go check that out and most likely to use it.